Hi, and welcome to Into My Portal. In this video, I'm looking ahead to the far future of next month, April. More specifically, the games I'm personally most looking forward to. Days Gone. Probably the biggest title in the release schedule for April, and the one that I'm most looking forward to. Days Gone looks like it could be one of the bigger AAA titles of 2019 mixing elements of the open world genre, Sons of Anarchy, and The Walking Dead. Judging by previews going out, it sounds like the gameplay and storyline are solid, with certain comparisons to The Last of Us, which is always a good thing. Katana Zero I'll admit, I was unaware of this one until the recent Nindies conference, but I was instantly intrigued by what looks like a bit of a combination of Hotline Miami and Dead Cells should be a fun, exciting title that would be perfect to play in short bursts on the Switch. The preview with the therapist also makes me wonder if the plot will actually be deeper than expected. Should keep me going until the new John Wick film. Furthermore, the rewinding ability makes sure my many botched attempts won't count. Perfect. Mortal Kombat 11 I'll be honest, I've always been more of a Street Fighter and more recently Injustice fan which was also made by NeverRealm Studios. But the Mortal Kombat series have a strong fan base and are always a fun game to jump into with mates around. As usual, the gore and the over the top kills are present and the customization has taken a step up too. As has the story mode going by previews and their terrific cinematic work on Injustice 1 and 2. Super Meat Boy Forever. The sequel to you guessed it, Super Meat Boy. Looks to carry on the charm and sometimes hair pulling difficulty of the first game. Full of charming characters and a ton of levels and available on pretty much every platform out there so everyone can enjoy it. Cuphead. Cuphead is making its anticipated way to the Nintendo Switch with the studio confirming that there will be no tweaking so expect it to be as tricky and rewarding as it's always been. Being a big success already, selling over 3 million copies, I'm sure it will sell even more on a hugely popular portable console. Looks like a good fit. So what will you be picking up or downloading next month? Cuphead and Days Gone are on my list for sure. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe for weekly ones on the way. Cheers for watching.